past many years, uh, as Yeshiva University has been engaging with educators in the field, uh, we hear a recurring theme. Our children are struggling uh, to engage in tefillah. So we went about trying to create a series of siddurim, four siddurim, that would engage the child at each developmental stage. What we've created here in this series is a tool that really considers the child at the center of tefillah and creates developmentally appropriate opportunities for them to connect to God. It's a book that's appropriate for a child of that age to be able to hold and relate to, and they open it up and it seems to be designed for them. Page of every siddur has cover not, has English questions or quotes or ideas that will focus the child on the meaning behind the tefillah. And then of course we have the tefillah, often with parts of the tefillah highlighted in a colour that will link it to the illustration or the cover. We chose a little boy and a little girl and we wanted to have the same little boy and little girl travelling through the siddur on, an, on a narrative, on a journey. Really as we've been saying, we've been trying to um, give the, the child the opportunity to see themselves in the tefillah, see themselves in this story, connect to the siddur themselves. So here we have two little children, the same age as they are, they're twins. They start off in, uh, in their bedroom and they get up and they say Molde Ani and then we see them washing the Tilat Yadayim in the morning and then leaving the bathroom and saying Asher Yatsar and we really we're on a journey here. The notion that the pictures are not just there for the beauty, the aesthetics, um, but are itself an element to connect the child to God through these Tfilot. They're a way to engage, they're a way to connect and provide an opportunity for reflection um, that is beyond any of the illustrations that I've ever seen in a, child, in a child's uh, siddur before. So this becomes a, uh, a, a, a vehicle for conversations about values in the home, about conversations about values in our community, uh, values in our school. What is it that we stand for? What is, what is our um, value that we would pronounce? What is it that our bumper sticker, if you will, says? for our family, for our home and community, and, and I would encourage each educator to use this as a vehicle to discuss those, to surface them, and we might be surprised at, at what connects our children, we might be surprised ourselves at what connects us.